Troubling tremors in uncommon places. Man-made earthquakes becoming a problem where you would least expect them. Could a growing industry be the cause of these surprising quakes? Yeah, Ben Bailey is here with a look at what's behind this phenomenon, Ben. Yeah, it's got to be something because these numbers are getting ridiculous. Earthquakes, of course, one of Mother Nature's most devastating, terrifying displays of power. You probably think of them shaking the ground out in California or other parts of the world, but experts say they're popping up in uncommon areas, and it could be related to the increase in oil and gas drilling. That be... Earthquake, we just wait, it's still going. Look, this is Oklahoma City three years ago. A 4.3 magnitude earthquake shook the heartland. The damage, well, it wasn't catastrophic, but it's important to note that this was just one of 579 earthquakes that year. That's a little bit scary. You think a big one is out there? Probably, yeah. In fact, as the drilling industry grew in Oklahoma, so did the amount of earthquakes at an alarming rate. In between 2009 and about 2013, we ramped up to 30, 50, in as many, I think in, two thir in 2013, we had actually over 100 magnitude three and larger earthquakes. But then it kind of took off. And in, 14, in 2014, we had um, 579. In 2015, we had 903. That's right, there wasn't a steady climb, but rather a colossal jump. Oklahoma, like Michigan, not known for earthquakes. So why is this happening? Dr. Jeremy Boak says these man-made or induced earthquakes are the result of mineral exploration companies drilling disposal wells down to a level in the earth that contains ancient seawater. When companies drill for oil and gas, they also bring up wastewater, which needs to go somewhere. So it's pumped back into the ground in the disposal wells, which have been created to handle these fluids. We just oversaturated the ability of that rock formation to take the water. And that's when the ground becomes unstable and faults are triggered. Once the layer above the basement level of rock is disturbed, a pressure pulse pushes the stabilizing pressure out of place and creates the opportunity for earthquakes. Oklahoma's rate of two or more earthquakes a day has subsided recently. The price of oil and gas has gone down, so the demand to drill is down as well. But in 2016, a 5.8 magnitude quake hit the town of Pawnee. It's the largest quake in Oklahoma's history. Could that happen here? We don't have those kind of conditions in Michigan. We don't, uh, most of the injection wells operate at very low pressures. That's Hal Fitch. He's the state geologist and director of oil, gas, and minerals division of the Department of Environmental Quality. He says they've been keeping an eye on this situation in Oklahoma and a plan is in place. Kind of a stoplight approach where you monitor and look for potential indications and then you step up your regulations as needed. We haven't had that kind of situation yet in Michigan, but we're prepared for it. As for Oklahoma, they are paving the way in how to monitor and prevent these man-made incidents. Keeping an eye on the, the rate at which you're disposing of water. And finally, trying to keep the disposal zones up away from those crystalline basement rocks. We're watching the situation. We've never had an instance of a triggered earthquake in Michigan, but we're watching it. We know what the, the, the you know, potential problem areas might be. So here's a shot of the earthquakes in the last 24 hours out in Oklahoma, and you can see uh, almost to the average, there's two of them right there. It's not big, it's a 1.8 magnitude quake, but you bounce over to California and it's really nothing compared to what they have out there. In fact, that red dot just showed up within the last 10 minutes. Uh, they've gotten more than yeah. two dozen just within the last day. We get a little cavalier with just how routine they are there. But That's true. You know, I lived in Oklahoma for about six years in the 90s, and it just wasn't a part of it. You don't remember any of no. it, it? It wasn't that. Two wow. interesting things, though. They say that stopping this will not necessarily make the earthquakes go away, and it could actually make them worse. So that's one thing. And secondly, the one word you did not hear in this piece is fracking. fracking. Mm -hmm. uh, that was not related to these deep water that's drilling. That's a separate process. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. I see. It's fascinating, though. Wow. It really is. The numbers. Yeah.